Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Pals here. So nice to see you. I have a great story about uh, cockroaches today, which I find <laughs> disgusting, but we can learn a lot about them. Now, I want to start off with a story. Um, in 2006 and 2007, I used to work in New York City, and I worked in the borough of the Bronx. There's five boroughs in New York City. There's Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and Staten Island. I was in the Bronx. And um, I got to my classroom early in the morning, as I always do. I'm an early bird, as you guys know. And uh, the lights were off in my classroom. Um, and I turned the lights on. And right in the middle of my classroom, on its back, was a huge cockroach. It was about the size of my palm. And I got close to it. It started making a hissing sound, like Sss. And uh, I was definitely grossed out. So I had like a like an empty flower vase and I kind of just put it out over it so it couldn't escape because I was like, I had to come up with a plan. This thing is huge, you know? So I thought about it for a little bit. And, um, at that time I was a first grade teacher and I was like, I can't have my students see this enormous cockroach to start their day. So, um, I got a little piece of paper towel. I put it over, um, I had it ready. So I had, a. The vase, I lifted up, I put the paper towel over the cockroach, and I stomped them out. And it was pretty gross, but I had to save the day. So that's my cockroach story. And some of you might have seen um, cockroaches. I haven't seen too many in Orange County. Um, I did see a lot in the Bronx, and I think the reason is, is New York City is an old city. And old cities have, you know, a big drainage and sewer systems, and I think that's where the cockroaches are coming from. We'll find out. All right, it's the middle of the night, you need a drink of water. You go to the kitchen and turn on the light. Suddenly, you step on something crunchy. You bend down to take a look. It is a cockroach! Ah! <clears throat> a cockroach's head points downward instead of straight out from its body. Cockroaches are insects. They have a hard, flattened body with three parts. They have six legs and two antenna. Many cockroaches have two pairs of wings, too, but they do not usually fly. But they can. Many cockroaches use their wings to get other roaches' attention. Okay. Most cockroaches are black or brown. The smallest cockroaches are about the size of an apple seed. As I know, it's like the little baby cockroaches in the Bronx. They're really tiny. But the biggest cockroaches are almost as big as a six-year-old's hand. A cockroach uses, uses its antenna to feel and smell things. Ugh. There are about 4,000 kinds of cockroaches. German cockroaches live near people around the world. The rhinoceros cockroach of Australia is one of the biggest cockroaches. The rhinoceros cockroach is to the left. It is also called the giant burrowing cockroach. Mitchell Dernal's cockroach lived in western and southern Australia. That's a big cockroach, too. Oh, look at this. Cockroaches can be found almost everywhere in the world. They like warm, damp places. Some cockroaches live in forests or caves. Many live in people's houses too. Cockroaches have to watch out for predators. Birds, frogs, lizards, mice, spiders, and centipedes all eat cockroaches. And we've had books on all of these. Books on birds, frogs, lizards, mice, spiders, centipedes. And now we find out they all eat cockroaches. Cockroaches are food for spiders on the left and the lizard above. Female cockroaches lay eggs in a special holder called an egg case. Now you see it's underneath their body. Baby cockroaches are called nymphs. I've heard that before. They look like small adult cockroaches, but they do not have wings. As the nymph grows, they get too big for their skin. They molt so they can keep growing. The last time they molt, 
They become an adult with wings. Some cockroaches live a few months. Others live more than two years. This egg case is attached outside the female's abdomen. And some female roaches carry the egg case inside their bodies until the eggs hatch. Huh. I remember um, when I was in the Bronx, um, other teachers would say that if you see a cockroach, try not to step on it with your shoe because same thing, there could be like baby cockroaches underneath it. And then the baby cockroach would go underneath your shoe. And then when you go home later that night, you take your shoes off, the cockroaches could go to your house. Uh, I know you guys are thinking about my story ahead of time. I did put the paper towel down ahead of, ahead of time when I crushed it. Anyway, just be aware, stepping on cockroaches, it could be baby cockroaches underneath it. All right, cockroaches eat almost anything. They like people's food and garbage. They eat rotten plants and dead animals too. They will even eat books and glue, which could be found in a classroom. Cockroaches sometimes eat rice and breadcrumbs. Huh. Seems like anything goes for these guys. Cockroaches can hold their breath for a long time. Sometimes they swim up drain pipes and into people's sinks and bathtubs. Cockroaches come out in the dark. They do not like light. That makes a lot of sense. Cockroaches can fit into small spaces such as cracks and walls. The giant cockroach is sometimes sold as a pet. No thanks. <laughs> The Madagascar hissing cockroach does not have wings. Hissing, that's the sound I heard. Some people keep big cockroaches as pets. Other people tell stories or sing songs about cockroaches. It can be fun finding and watching these dark, loving, creepy creatures. Ah, oh, this is fun. If your parents say you can, you can make a cockroach. All right. So to make a cockroach by cutting an oval egg shape out of black piece of construction paper. Cut a, cut a pipe cleaner in half and glue the two pieces to the top of the oval for antenna. Also, the pipe cleaner is the antenna. Take two more pipe cleaners and cut each into three pieces. These will be the legs. Glue three legs to each side of the oval and glue your cockroach to the top of a craft stick to make your own cockroach puppet. Very cool. I think Mr. Groot would love that for our class. And glossary. Antenna, feelers on the head of some insects that are used to touch, smell, and taste things. Damp, a little bit wet. Molt, to lose a shell or layer of skin and grow a new larger one. Predators, animals that kill and eat other, animals that kill and eat other animals. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the cockroach. You know, be on the lookout. If you guys see any in Middletown, let me know. All right, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon.